Epicurus, in the letter to Menuseus, says, The misfortune of the wise is better than the prosperity of the fool. The misfortune of the wise is better than the prosperity of the fool. Now you can think about it for a second. This should remind you of something. We talked about this before. Do you remember a quote of a more modern philosopher that went almost like this? And obviously, this is Mill, right? This is Mill. It is better to be Socrates dissatisfied than a fool satisfied. The misfortune of the wise, the dissatisfaction of Socrates, is better than the prosperity of the fool, is better than a fool satisfied. Right? It's, it's almost the same sentence. But this is misleading, and you should be careful not to confuse these things, because Mill wants something entirely different from Epicurus. For Mill, this is a statement about the value of higher pleasures over lower pleasures. He wants to say that a Socrates dissatisfied is better because he has more humanity, he has more of these higher pleasures uh, that are available to him because of his intellect than the fool has, and therefore even in an unsatisfied state he is better than the fool. This is entirely not what Epicurus wants. For Epicurus it means that the wise man, even in his misfortune, misfortune means bad luck, so the wise man has bad luck, let's say he loses his money because of a global crash of the economy, uh, but the wise man would not care because his desires would be limited to the natural desires which he can still easily satisfy. So. A wise man in a misfortune, because he is wise, he has taken care to not have desires that are unnatural, and because he only has the natural and necessary desires, these are easy to fulfill in nature by natural means, and so he doesn't care for any fortune or money. While the prosperous fool might be prosperous at the moment and earn a lot of money, but because he is a fool, he doesn't realize that he should not get attached to desires for vain desires, right? Desires for things that are not national, um, not necessary and not natural. And so therefore the fool is attaching his happiness to these desires. And when at some point he will lose his fortune, um, and even if he doesn't lose it through habituation, he will get used to all these things and then he will want more. And so he will be always in the state of having unsatisfied desires, right? So the prosperity of the fool doesn't make the fool happy because the fool still is full of unsatisfied desires. Plus, he has the danger of in future losing his fortune. While the wise man, however much he has, will always be happy because he only needs a few natural things. <clears throat>